All right, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to come and talk to you today. Um, the topic of my presentation is tornado and high wind sheltering with masonry. And with that introduction, uh, go rolling right into the presentation. Um, background in here, um, you can get an idea there. Um, a lot of the materials I'll be presenting today were developed by myself and my colleague um, uh, Diane Throop with the Masonry Institute. It's copyrighted through that particular organization. All right, what is our focus going to be today? Uh, what my intent is in this presentation is to make the um, seminar attendees familiar with the uh, ICC 500 requirements for storm shelter construction. Uh, I want you to gain some understanding about the wind speed and missile testing criteria necessary to comply with the RDC 2015 and 2018 um, building codes that invoke the ICC 500, uh, in particular uh, for the requirements for tornado sheltering. And then I want you to become um, or develop an understanding of the options that you can uh, do with masonry, masonry walls in particular, uh, as you design these tornado sheltering to meet the ICC 500. And then finally, uh, talk a little bit about the impact requirements of the, or the impact of the ICC requirements, particularly the wind loads on the building layout, the design and the detailing and some of the options and things that you have to um, keep focused on as you're going through this kind of design. All right, as you might be aware, uh, we've had more and more severe wind events within uh, the North American continent. Uh, there has been a significant rise in damage uh, that is associated with these wind events. Some of it is because uh, we're just building more buildings in areas uh, that are susceptible to these high winds. And in addition, this damage is uh, putting a significant number of people at risk. And so there has been changes in response to these poor performances of buildings and this increased risk uh, in the building codes. And what I want to talk to you about today is how you address those. Uh, this particular slide is from uh, Dr. Bill Kilborn, who is an expert in uh, tornado and hurricanes. I uh, used to chair the ASCE wind load committee. And uh, this is one of his um, slides. And this shows a collapsed CMU wall uh, in a school environment. I can't remember off the top of my head exactly where it was, but it shows uh, that we need to pay careful attention when we design our system so that this sort of thing does not happen. All right, so let's talk about some of the documents that we will be addressing today. Uh, the two sets of documents that I want to talk briefly about at the beginning here is the FEMA P361. Uh, this is a, a FEMA document that provides guidance for safe room design within uh, for tornadoes and hurricanes. It's written kind of like a guide to um, document. It's not written in code language. Uh, the code language document is the ICC 500, and it has evolved from the 2008 version of that. Uh, into the 2014 version. This is written in mandatory uh, language uh, and it was intended for adoption by the building codes uh, to uh, provide a standard design methodology and construction requirements for uh, storm shelters. So these were developed, they are based off of the a lot of the FEMA uh, recommendations in the 361 document. They're not absolutely the same, uh, but the FEMA document kind of acts as a, um, a guide on how to apply many of the provisions in the ICC document. I would highly recommend if you're doing these kinds of designs, get both the ICC 500 document and the FEMA 
361, uh, that document being a nice FEMA document is available for free for download uh, from the FEMA site. So I'd highly recommend you get there. I will specifically touch on some of the things that are in that document uh, that you might want to get and uh, pull out and uh, use in your designs. Okay, let's talk about the ICC 500 and some of the general information that is contained within that document. Um, there's a lot of different requirements in there. Um, we are in this particular seminar going to be focused primarily on the structural aspects.